Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ginger Broderick, and I'm the host of the Ginger New York TV show. Welcome to our Ginger Fridays at m and TV Studios. We are live here every Friday at 2 p.m., so thank you very much for joining in. I have a professional bodybuilder judge. Tracy Hess, <laughs> your coach too, trainer. I do. God bless. Day. Just don't make me do any push-ups today. Oh no! <laughs> I was prepared for you at the end of the show. <laughs> right, you're going to be doing a demonstration a little bit yes. later on, or yep. perhaps after the show. But we'll get I'm that excited. up on our, our YouTube video quite quite quickly. Okay. Um, you mm -hmm. have your boyfriend, fiance, Steve mm -hmm. Webster, and mm -hmm. thank you, to Steve, thank for coming you. in. Can I say oh, hello? Wow! <laughs> what are those warm -up. Those are muscles? <laughs> Both of you. Wow. Warm -up. Thank you. Everybody aspires to look great, and, yeah. and there's a lot of work behind it. Absolutely. Did you just one day say, I want to have, you know, muscles? Because not only you are a bodybuilder, but you're now in the physique, right? Is that Yeah, correct? women's physique. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, that's the new category they came up with in like two years. Uh -huh. It used to be bodybuilding, which is starting to delete. And, um, oh, isn't that interesting? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, they're starting. A lot of people are very upset. The fans are very upset because there's still some muscle worshippers. Uh -huh. But uh, I do like the category better, women's physique. It's more attractive. Uh -huh. You know, more line, more aesthetics, and the girls are very pretty. So it's it's my, I love it. And your <laughs> outfits are like oh, glitz and glamour and diamonds yeah. and rhinestones. I oh, mean, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's like Miss America. Uh -huh. I call it Miss America in your in your uh, uh -huh. posing suit. Yes. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And you've been doing it for many many years. Uh, 1997, I started. Good for you. Yeah. I'm still well. hanging in like a dinosaur. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look yeah. great. Thank you. You look Ginger, great. I bet you. you feel great too. Uh, today, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was a yeah. long travel. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. De detoxing. I'm detoxing oh. um, after the show, which is very important. A lot of athletes don't realize that uh, you put your body through so much stress through your prep season, and then when you're done, you should actually do a detox before you start an off season. And what's a so, detox for, for uh, you considered? You know, because um, I think you're eating healthy all the time. You know, you would think so, but you don't realize the amount of food that you do take in, like your proteins. Uh -huh. You're taking a lot of vitamins, so you're talking things going through the liver and the kidneys, so they have to be cleaned out flushed out before you can actually start all over again with a program. So, so. are you uh, drinking a lot of juices? Is that uh, how you do a detox? Lots of water. Uh -huh. um, it, it's just so much into it. It's 21 day cleanse. Oh wow. No coffee, which would kill people. Oh no. <laughs> so I that, try every yeah. day to stop drinking coffee and I just <laughs> flip a little and then it's the next thing you know it's a cup. Oh, it's hard. It's yeah. really hard. but um. We got a great trainer, and he uh, supplied me with some cocoa, which takes the edge off of the coffee. Oh, isn't that interesting? Caffeine, so uh -huh. now I think I'm drinking hot chocolate, so I'm okay. I'm uh -huh. good. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's it like to have a trainer and a boyfriend in the same? I mean, you do have to do everything <laughs> that he tells you to do. <laughs> that would be hard for me. What? St Steve is tough. Uh, he's very tough. He's regimen. Um, you don't want to say no to him. Mm -hmm. because, I mean, he just pushed you. I've actually uh, was in probably the best uh, shape of my life walking into my first pro show this year, and uh, he really pushed me. He didn't take no for an answer. He had no mercy on me. Um, it's hard, but I respect it because I know what I want, and he's mm -hmm. pushing me to that, that max to where I can, you know, be in the best shape I can be on stage. So, and you've done you know. very well with your competitions, and it's you're a also a year. judge as well. Yeah, yeah. I haven't judged this year. I took some time off because I have a team. Mm -hmm. I started Tell a team of girls of, of, of competing, so it's sort of a conflict, you know. Mm -hmm. with, oh, I see. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. you can't do a, you can't do it both. Mm -hmm. So um, I just took the time off of not judging and um, focused on helping other girls, men and women, I should just say, um, achieve their dreams and to competing as well. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah. a big shout to Lynn, right? Oh because my God, Lynn and Bob. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> big shout out to she's amazing. Bob's amazing. Those guys have made great transformations. Great clients. Great friends, and they do work hard in the gym. Mm -hmm. So this is for you, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And Bob. <laughs> yeah. And I understand that you help train Bob. Yeah, I train yes. Bob. Bob's He's, he uh, Lynn's drives husband. an hour yeah. every day. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. She and it's too. yellow hummer. I yeah. passed oh, a yellow hummer yeah. on my street. I was like, Listen, Bumblebee. most guys have trouble dedicating <laughs> to anything. He sticks to the diet. He drives an hour, five days a week. Wow. If I tell him we're taking off Wednesday and we're lifting Saturday, he'll be there. Wow. He's like, what time? And yeah. I remember when he first came to me, I, Tracy said, well, Lynn's husband wants to train. He wants to be a bodybuilder. And he's done a show already. And I said, all right, well, who is he? And she showed him. Mm. And I was like, 
<laughs> he wanted to do what show? You know, he's 130 pounds or 150 pounds. So we had a long talk, and I said, okay. Um, I said, I'm going to put him through a leg workout Monday, and I said, we'll see if he wants to stick around. Um, not until a week or two, well, but a few months later, he told me, he goes, I had to sit in the parking lot for 45 minutes to get the feeling <laughs> back in my legs. <laughs> so, but um, I, you know, if everyone had the heart he does, mm -hmm. yeah, he there'd be a lot heart. of champions. Mm -hmm. yeah, huge heart. Um, you know, in this sport, genetics plays a huge, huge role mm -hmm. in everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but to me, it's a hobby. Treat it as a hobby. If you think you're going to be the next Phil Heath or Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. whoever, you're, you're lying to yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. it's true. you it's spend true. thousands of dollars to do this and have fun with it, you know. And that's mm -hmm. what I recommend or mm -hmm. I do myself. And you yeah. were saying that um, Bob was maybe like 150 pounds yeah. and you brought him up to 210. 236, yeah. Wow. Muscle, and he competed on stage muscle. at 191. So yeah. he obviously made great gains last year and uh, mm -hmm. he did three shows. I think he, I can't remember, his best placing was fourth, I know that. Uh -huh. yeah. um, but he did really well, and each show he was better, you know, harder and leaner. Um, your first time doing it, you're not gonna be your best. Uh -huh. Now next year he'll even be that much better, uh -huh. you know. Right. Right. Um, so, mm -hmm. and, he, and he has the heart and determination to do well in this. I mean, so we're gonna keep grinding him and I'm gonna keep killing him in the gym and, <laughs> and he'll, he'll succeed. <laughs> You know. I, I had a personal training session about a year and a half ago, and I still feel it in my hip. <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> Go to my chiropractor tonight. <laughs> I'm I mean, still you had a great session. You yeah. had a great session. Yeah, it's and, awesome. And how did you all get involved with bodybuilding? Can I use that term, or should I say physique building? Um, What's, well, is it, I it's bodybuild, okay. she does physique, I'm but it's all classified under the, you know, okay. all okay. NPC, yeah. okay. IFBB, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's all um, about the same. She's been doing it for... Ever. Oh, eternity. I was a power lifter. A dinosaur. A power lifter. Yeah, okay. I was a power lifter and I tore, tore the labrum in my right shoulder and took uh, over a year off. I just had a cortisone shot put in, you know, this was six years ago. And um, I was doing nothing. I was sitting at home eating drinking pizzas, beer? drinking beer, <laughs> uh, going to Chinese buffets, 10 oh, plates. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I was about 340 Ooh, pounds. Really? Oh, yeah. Ginger. Ooh. And Little. she said, will you please try to come back to the gym? <laughs> and so it was kind of like a sign. It. it was kind of a sign you're a little husky. Uh, <laughs> so, I, so I started going back. You and I was, nicely. You know, I mean, you don't want to do anything that hurts you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. when you lift, when you walk, if your knees kill you and you walk, well, you don't want to walk. Mm -hmm. It's not a fun feeling. My shoulder killed me, so I took the ear off after the cortisone shot, and I went back and I started playing around with dumbbells. Well, I was like, "Geez, I go, it's not hurting." Oh, that's good, So I good, went heavier right? and heavier, and and you know, I started doing dumbbell work, and I didn't do any barbell work at all as far as flat bench or incline, so I was afraid of my shoulder. Sure. And then, you know, six or eight months into it, I said, "You know, let me try to bench, see what happens." So I laid down, I went, started at, you know, uh, 225, and I went up to 405. Wow. And wow. I did 405 for like 15 reps, and I was like, geez. But I did feel a little bit uh -huh. when I did the heavy weight for uh -huh. high reps. So I said, you know what, I don't need to do it. I'm still mm -hmm. strong. I'm still, you know, mm -hmm. so I went right back to the dumbbell work and just, mm -hmm. you know, did that. And yeah. I switched over from powerlifting to bodybuilding, what, two years ago? Two mm -hmm. years ago. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I've only done it for two years. Two years. Oh, wow. And it's uh, Baby. fun. Newbie. <laughs> yeah, I'm a newbie. He's doing good in the zombie time. world, you're called a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Right, I had the Halloween zombies on last year. I know. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So you're, um, <laughs> yes. you're <mad. laughs> That's scary. Right. I know. I, mm. I had to change back my profile photo as a regular person yeah. because people were pretty scared you're of me. Scared. <laughs> I actually I met like, somebody oh at a party. It's like, are you a comedian? <laughs> I was like, I'm just doing that. And, um, that was good. So that was really cute. original. I like it. <laughs> mm. That's great. So thanks a lot for coming in from no. Philly. Did you Welcome. drive in or take the train? Um, part, part. Mm -hmm. We drove, drove. part mm -hmm. way and then we part. jumped on the train to yeah. get across here. Okay. You know, so I didn't want to park my big truck and I didn't even know oh where to park Manhattan it. Manhattan like, is, yeah. Uh, you know well, how Well, thank you very much for coming we in. We thank you for having oh. us. We appreciate you. This is fun. We're having a good time. Oh, I really enjoy yeah. doing the show. And yeah. everybody at home, if the uh, control room can throw in the uh, photos for us, if you can mm -hmm. roll in the photos for us, mm -hmm. so we can uh, you can you know, all see what Tracy looks like during her oh, competitions. Yeah. Oh. Get ready. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at all those muscles. Starvation. You don't have any cellulite. I'm <laughs> jealous. 
that's one of my questions after this photo session. Oh, Here, yeah. and let's see the next photo. This is a competition. This is two of you together? Yeah, this is Colorado, um, the yeah. first, my first, um, first call out placing, actually. Yeah. I was very excited about that and uh, wanted to share that. So I took some hardware home, or should I say a little trophy glass home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was nice. Ah, guest posing. That was my first guest posing gig after I received my pro card. And I believe that was at the Big Cat. Guest posing. The NPC, okay. yeah, Big Cat Classic. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Look at oh, that. Oh, congratulations. Which, where was that from? Oh, Atlantic City? I think this is the Europa Atlantic City show. It was this year in August. It's the uh, finals routine. Look at oh, that. boy. <laughs> I mean, like... I wanted to use that for your press release. I, mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, t I taught oh. her how to do that. Really beautiful. Wow. I yeah. mean, Bring oh that gymnastics my, I'm back. jealous of those abs. Oh, yeah. You Don't make me too. Oh, see look at them. this. <laughs> Not bad for beautiful. old lady, huh? Beautiful. Yeah, I love gymnastics. I've uh, still tried to incorporate them if I can in the routines. Beautiful. And um, I think that's great about physique that they can actually show the athleticism. It's not about a bunch of posing and fists and hardcore. You get a chance to show that you are an athlete as well. Mm -hmm. So nice. And uh, that's the Masters. Yeah, so the is Masters this your this team year. here that you are? No, this is the comparison. Oh, they did a comparison round with the girls uh -huh. to see where they're going to place everyone. Mm -hmm. So that's our comparison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we threw that, and you look like Diana the Ross. <laughs> The hair. <laughs> oh my goodness, the hair. The children. It's Christina, and that's my team. Uh huh. That's Lynn in there as There's well. There's Lynn in there with all the girls. They did phenomenal this year. I'm proud of these ladies. And that's the photo shoot with oh, that's Reggie. That's beautiful. Yeah. Did a great job. That was in Pittsburgh. Look at that. Wow. Good. You heaven. only see it once a year, Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Once a year. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Steve, I mean, wow. like, what happened? You see all, you know, bikini and all these guys are staring at her. I mean, you know, do you get jealous? I mean, do you have to be your security? A oh, okay, there you go. There's 500 <laughs> walking around bikinis. Wow. All the guys are yeah. walking around their little trunks going, no oh. one notices, no one looks at anybody. Oh. Yeah. They just, yeah. they're tired of not, they just want to eat. They want oh, to go out yeah. there and get judged, pose correctly, and then go home and, okay. you know, eat mm -hmm. or go to the restaurant or whatever. Because mm -hmm. um, the first time she, she had me go to a show, I was like this, you know, I was just, I mean, it was like, it was amazing, I was like, right? where am I at here? You yeah. know? <laughs> but now, I mean, it's... You get used to it. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Everybody's doing the same thing. They're all just tired. Like you said, they want to eat. They just want to get up there and do their thing. And everybody kind of looks the same after a while. How does one get involved yeah. with this, like the circuit? Like, can anybody at any age start <sighs> bodybuilding? I mean, you yeah, said absolutely. that, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's good, probably, for you. That's a great you. question. Will I ever um, get rid of my cellulite if I start doing it? It's up to you. Like, you it's up to you. Oh, yeah, yeah Ginger. you got to come to Philly. I can't blame my mother anymore. No. Oh, you can't blame my mom. Oh, my God. <laughs> i got these legs because so of many, her. <laughs> so many people think there's a magic pill you can take, and, oh, my yeah. God, I'm in great shape. Uh -huh. i got abs. It's not. I mean, there are a few people out there in the world that have great genetics, and they walk around with a six-pack mm -hmm. no matter what they eat or what they do. Isn't That's them. 99% mm -hmm. of the people can't live like that, mm -hmm. and they're not going to have abs. Mm -hmm. um, I saw, a, like, a model that had uh, cellulite. I was mm -hmm. so surprised, and Lynn mentioned that it, it, yeah. they call it um, skinny fat. Yeah. You know, where yeah. it's mm -hmm. actually fat on, like, a skinny person. Yeah. It's yeah. Like incredible. They don't, they don't train. Um, those girls are mostly cardio. And oh. they have low-calorie diets. Okay. So it, when you apply resistance to anything muscle, you actually push that out the way, and that that smooths the cellular. Air. That's why it's so important that you do train, mm -hmm. weight train, because that will get rid of it, oh, diminish it, because mm -hmm. the muscles come more to the surface, and you lose that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the skin starts to harden, so you won't see it anymore. Oh, that's interesting. Because yeah. uh, I was a swimmer, and I never got mm -hmm. rid of it on my my legs. And mm -hmm. one doctor said that it's like the trans fat, like uh, right. you know, between right. the muscles and the whatever, Absolutely. no matter what you do. So Absolutely. I was reading one where uh, jump roping is like the only thing and then, mm -hmm. but you guys don't have it at all. Mm -hmm. So no. it's you. It's, it's, it's that training, putting that weight to that muscle and uh, it will um, eventually, it will it will diminish, it will disappear. What, what do you think yeah. about, what do you, when you see people that, you know, are couch potatoes mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. wasting themselves away, I mean, do, do you go over and say, hey, listen, you got to get part of this program, otherwise mm -hmm. whatever, or do you just 
Can me, no, I don't even pay don't, attention. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh -huh. uh, that's on them. I mean, uh, you, yeah. everyone can yeah. do what they want with their life. If they want to speak to me about um, how to get started, I mean, when girls come up to me, I always send them to her. Oh, okay. Um, I don't want to train any women. Um, <laughs> I only train her, but I don't want to. You know, women are just so much different than yeah. men. They're probably easy to train, but. Yeah. I just send them to her. You know, mm -hmm. the the diets are different, the hormone, uh, all that. I'm mm -hmm. just like, you oh know, yeah, it give gets me, crazy. Give me it the gets guys, crazy. and oh, I, yeah. you know, and I stick with the guys. And yeah. I got a guy yeah. who's doing a show. Was it two weeks? Oh yeah, John. He's mm -hmm. beautiful, physique guy. Wow, yeah. transformation he made. I wish we had pictures of John. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about what happened with him. He, uh, <laughs> he looks great. Good looking kid, 6'4", 25. Hi, John. Been trying to get into modeling forever. <laughs> And he came to me, he says, I can't get abs, I can't get abs, I don't have abs. I said, anybody can have abs. Mm -hmm. You gotta know what you're doing diet-wise and you gotta train right. So he finally came to me and says, I want you to train me how much and we went over everything and I started to train him and, and even when he was 25, he looked good, but he kind of had that mm -hmm. little, like soft, little dough. soft, like baby fat, baby, all yeah. around his hips yeah. and stomach area. And, but he was still in pretty good shape, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, not bad. So we trained, I trained him, uh, gave him the diet, and right now, two weeks out, he did a show, what, two months ago, or a mm -hmm. month ago? Mm -hmm. And yeah. he, uh, phenomenal. Really? Waist like this, really? ripped six pack. Yeah, That's something. Um, what kind really of a diet? Good. Can you give an example of what's part of a diet? Well, you're gonna oh. eat chicken, fish, <laughs> or lean turkey. I'll give him that much. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's um, it. Little, little you know, preview. Your carbs are gonna be white rice, brown rice, yams. Uh huh. You know. uh -huh. But I'm, you know. What about juicing? What do, you know? That's like the big craze. I I even like juicing, but. <clears throat> it's a lot of sugar, right? A lot right. of calories. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, I don't do yeah. that. The, the problem with that is, and I know Oprah Winfrey did like a liquid type diet. Um, the body needs solid food. Mm -hmm. um, you will lose weight because your body is not getting any calories, like really nutrients. the real cal mm -hmm. nutrients. Mm -hmm. So you're just getting fluid. But what happens when you start putting solid food back in, mm -hmm. you start to gain that weight back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The best way is to eat the solid food to make the intestines work. Mm -hmm. To break it down, that's when your metabolism kicks in. Oh, interesting. And mm -hmm. that's how you're losing weight. Mm -hmm. So when you see people that starve or barely eat, that's why they're gaining weight. Because a lot of heavy people really don't eat that much. Right. It's they just want two meals a day. Yeah. Well, that's what I am. I can't, well, I can't what believe it. Is, Man, it's a big meal. They worry about the scale. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm, say that 300 pounds. Oh my God, I'm down uh -huh. to 290. I'm doing this liquid diet. Now I'm down to 250. Now you've taken this fat, obese body, and it's still just as horrible at 250 as it was at 300. Oh, interesting. Because you haven't changed, you haven't built any lean muscle. Okay. The more lean muscle you put on the body, the more body fat it's going to burn. Okay, um, absolutely. You know, and you, can, you can burn calories right. during they your sleep. They can go down to 200 yeah, pounds and they're still going to look, yeah. look horrible oh. because they have no muscle. Got it. Um, they'll lose muscle quicker than they're going to lose fat doing a liquid diet. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, that when they start eating the solid foods again, they blow right back up right. and they're like, mm -hmm. oh my God, what happened? Mm -hmm. Well, it's because you jumped on an infomercial fad and mm -hmm. yeah. that's what you get. It's bad. Mm -hmm. It's bad. You know, for forty nine ninety nine, that's what you get. You know? Or the late night commercials with, you know, you mm -hmm. can eat what you want, all the carbs you want, and mm -hmm. take this pill. Everything's pills. Mm -hmm. The industry's getting bigger off of that because people want an easy fix. But mm -hmm. put the work in. It's it's better to put the work you in. Know, and earn I, it. You know, the, uh, I the I was reading over the week of how to lose weight, and you know, one of the recommendations mm -hmm. was get off of Facebook. For the amount of time that you're on yeah. Facebook in a day, be that in the gym. That is so true. And I started watching how much time I put on Facebook. I'm, a, I'm an hour, hour and a half well, a day. Well, everyone it's always true. says I can't, it's I don't true. have 30 minutes a day. Really, you don't have yeah, 30 minutes, minutes somewhere? Uh -huh. You don't have lunch between work? Or you don't, between the time you get out of work, it must be midnight, so you have to go right home and go to bed. I mean. It, People find excuses why they don't have why? to do, why they shouldn't do something. You and know? then they get so, injured and then they can't, you know, mm -hmm. have it. I broke a foot in uh, a couple years ago and I couldn't exercise or do my yoga or anything for, I don't know, five months, six months. And I said, I, you know, I will never have an excuse. So ever when I have that little voice, it's like, no, you sleep in. I said, you know what? There was a time I couldn't do it. I better get up there and get out and get up there you know, and do it. Yeah, it's really and good. And you know what, um, Ginger, when they start, and they start feeling good, they start seeing changes. They just say, I wish I could have done this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So it's never too late, mm -hmm. again, to start it. Um, I think a lot of people don't have support, mm -hmm. motivation and support system. So if one person is doing it and the other one's doing it, well, who's going to? A lot of them are lazy. They're, they become lazy, so mm -hmm. they just want to be, you know, misery does love company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you have someone that you're, that's inspiring you, that's usually when people start 
to make that click and say, you know, I'm going to start doing something about it, or something happens, life threatening, oh, all right. mm -hmm. and that's when they decide that they want to start working out right. because they have cancer or something mm -hmm. came yeah. came up. You know, but it's all so. lifestyle, and I t and yeah. I tell everyone, oh, this is our lifestyle. This is how we choose to live. Now, if we want to go out and have a drink on Friday and have burgers and fries, we do. Um, you know, then tomorrow it's we're right back at it. But the guy who gets up in the morning or the girl that gets up in the morning, they run to Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks and get their coffee every single morning. Mm -hmm. Same yeah. coffee with a creamery, creamer and sugar mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. Then for lunch, they go with their girlfriends over to wherever and they mm -hmm. get a bunch of carbs and very little protein. Mm -hmm. Then they go home, they order something, pizza or whatever, or they go out with their girlfriends or guys, friends or whatever, and they mm -hmm. get... You know, and that's their lifestyle because mm -hmm. they do it mm -hmm. Monday through Friday. So mm -hmm. that's their yeah. lifestyle. Mm -hmm. that's used Everyone to that. can change. Yeah. Everyone can decide to do what they want. Mm -hmm. um, it's up to the individual if they want to be healthy or not. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying you start lifting and start dieting and eating properly that you're going to live to be 100 because nobody knows. Mm -hmm. But um, you probably have a better chance at having a longer life. life. You know, if you make if changes, you, if you make the changes I know uh, a couple that were both overweight and mm -hmm. um, significantly overweight, and they were together mm -hmm. for about 15 years, and then one had a health scare and started exercising and walking and then mm -hmm. hiking and whatever and lost like 100 pounds, mm -hmm. and the other See? one was still at home watching television and eating potato chips and stuff, wow. and um, it ended up ruining their relationship, you know? Yeah. So it's yeah. really yeah. interesting on how much health and exercise yeah does play with that. Yeah, and it's great if you have someone you could do it with, your spouse or, or a girlfriend, whatever. It makes it that much more exciting. Mm -hmm. But if one's doing it, the other one's not doing it, that one's feeling better now, the other one's still doing it. It's unattractive now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. You know, you're not attractive yeah. now. You're feeling good. You're looking good. You want somebody to look, you know what I mean? That's yeah. going to do the same thing you're well, doing. The key so. is not everyone has to bodybuild. I mean, no, I don't, yeah, I don't have to compete. Do something. Do something. Do yeah. something. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. just don't sit around eating chips and ranch dressing and... It does sound good you now. Fried food and all that. Now I know everything I'm doing wrong. <laughs> it's those juices and only yoga. And <laughs> Get in the gym. Yeah. Get those. I yes. guess I will be doing those push-ups. <laughs> yeah, you can be doing them. She's going to be doing this with me. <laughs> That's Absolutely. great. Mm -hmm. We have just a few more minutes, about six more minutes to the show. Do you have any pieces of advice that you want to offer? I mean, you've been giving some lot of motivational, you know, talks right now, you know, but uh, is there anything specifically that, you know, you tell your trainees? Yes, I, I we all know it's very hard uh, to do what we do. Um, uh, I like to speak out for those who's trying to compete or enter the competitive world or the ones that just want to get into shape. Um, the big key is please, please, please reach out to professional people. Stop reading the magazine, stop looking online, stop looking for quick fix, stop taking Susie's diet, which doesn't, it's not designed for you. Reach out to professionals that's gonna guide you in the right direction and get you, get you to where you want to be so you're not wasting that time doing your fad diets. Do it the right way. Find someone that can help you and design a program just for you. That's really great. Yeah. Good that for was you. Yeah. wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. I don't know if you can top that. I can top that. Because <laughs> no, you coached her to say yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I did. We had a long drive, so I had to coach her. No, um, uh, as far as, you know, adding to what she said about reaching out to a professional to help you, um, don't go to the local guy in your gym unless it is, you know, I could name a few, but um, that are quality people. Um, but the general, the normal, the average person in your gym has no idea about bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. um, oh, interesting. Okay. And they'll tell, it's true. they'll tell people, oh, I train people for shows all the time. Oh, okay. Really? Ask, show me some pictures of the people you've trained. And if they don't have pictures of them next to each, next to them, then they right. probably didn't train them. Right. Um, and you want to watch out for cookie cutter diets, which mm -hmm. a lot of them are doing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, my but... trainer, who I will use nobody but him, and he's okay. a New York guy. Um, Dave Save. Palumbo. Hi, Dave. Uh, that's my phone, Dave Hi, Palumbo. Um, <laughs> He's amazing. I will awesome do trainer. whatever he awesome. told me to do. Whatever he says mm -hmm. to do, I'll do it. Uh -huh. If he says drink boiling hot water at 2 a.m., I'll do it. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a lot. Yeah, well, I follow well, he, instructions. He had a well. conversation he before the show yeah. was eat grass. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. I had to change it up. I'll have to eat the grass later. But, um, you know, just, I mean, there's... There's quality people, and if you want to get into this, you can start researching. You can go, you can call RX Muscle or go on their forum. They have a, they have. Oh, interesting. 
you know, some different uh, trainers advice. that are on there all the time. Yeah. And Dave Palumbo trains tons of people in the New York area. Interesting. Um, and he's he is the guru. He yeah, is best. one of, if Dave. not the best in the country. So mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, to me, absolutely. he's the best. I will use nobody but him. And I listen to everyone else tell me what you know what they think they should do. Well, and uh, you do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. My guy, my guy said I'm doing this, and that's where we're going. That's right. Good for um, you. So, um, and what Dave did for me in a short amount of time last year, I can't wait for this this off season, and then then go into next year and see what happens. Well, you mentioned about an off season. Does mm -hmm. that really happen with? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what does uh, off season? Yeah. What what is your off season? Because I I think of it a traditional sports like basketball. You know, you mm -hmm. have you know like it's, four or five months of where you're working yeah. and then you're off the rest it's of it. It's different for her than it is me. Yeah. Oh, really? I'll go back yeah. and start eating more. Oh, okay. Um, I'll start to lift heavier weights. Um, I'll start to gain more weight. Oh, interesting. And I'll get up to, you know, over 300 pounds. And, and um, she doesn't want to get to 300 no, pounds if she no. does. So. <laughs> we want to go down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, please don't want to go down. <laughs> So, but, um, but it's been a great off season, uh, especially this year. Um, the weight is better. I'm, I'm where I want to be. Last year I wasn't, and it makes it going to make it easier for next year. So uh -huh. we're we're excited to eat more food and uh -huh. you know and uh, and you you are a, you know you're d considered a pro in this, and mm -hmm. so you actually mm -hmm. have sponsors as well. Oh right? my God, yes, push, pull, and grind. Hey, uh -huh. <laughs> species. Um, well, he does a double. We use his products. Um, Chrome subs. Let's get a shout out for. Or, uh, what's yeah. his name? Uh, Frank. Frank, yeah, yeah, Frank and Michelle. And uh, who else? Who else? Oh my God, I'm losing. I'm not a pro. I just want to make sure that it's <laughs> clarified. I do the PDNPC, but I'm. Um, uh, yes. How do you get to be a pro status? Because I know win. Lynn is when uh, Lynn is on that track. You got to win your class and then the oh, overall. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, national show. National and, show. And um, mm -hmm. I went to my very first mm -hmm. nationals last year. I mean, mm -hmm. I'd done a local show, and my trainer says, "Now you're going to the nationals," and I was like. Pardon me? Uh -huh. I'm going from the little 200 person show to the Nationals that has 1,700 people. Gee. Uh -huh. I said, oh, all right, whatever, you know. Because uh -huh. at my age, I don't get embarrassed. I don't even care. Uh -huh. You know, so I went there and I got fifth wow. in my division, super Wonderful. heavyweight division in my category. And um, so I'll go back next year and yeah. now I'll be with Dave for a whole full year and should be much, much better. Isn't and, that something? And, mm -hmm. uh, Good yeah, for you. It's a great year. It's been awesome. Wonderful. Blessing. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Ginger, thank you. Thank we you had a so much. Oh, thanks for coming, thank you yeah. coming in all the way in from <laughs> um, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah. Philadelphia. Yeah. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. It's a beautiful yes. town. Thank and thank you, you, everyone. Thank you very much for joining in through this afternoon's show. Aren't you motivated now to go home, <laughs> go to the gym, start working out, eating healthy, get some muscle? We got some great people here today giving some great advice. We'll see you next Friday afternoon, Ginger, New York. Bye-bye.